Thank you guys. Portions of Interstate 29 have been closed and access to bridges that span the Missouri River already are being lost as major flooding continues on the border of Nebraska and Iowa. The Missouri River remains in a flood warning until further notice. There is a stretch of Interstate 29 from Glenwood to the Missouri state line. That's basically 40 to 60 minutes worth of travel that are closed right now on I-29 and it's closed in both directions and another portion in the Brownville area. Brownville, Nebraska is also expected to close because of the flooding and the floodwaters over the road. Road officials tell me from Iowa DOT that the, the road right now the main water area is near Bartlett. There's a big section of the interstate that is covered by the water and that is near Bartlett where a levee was breached earlier this morning. Access has been lost to at least two bridges that in that span the, from the Missouri River. Interstate 680 in North Omaha and U.S. Highway 34 at La Platte, which is north of Plattsmith. That means that between Nebraska City and Omaha, there is no access to bridges across the Missouri River. Bridges on both cities, however, do remain open. So they do remain open. Forecasting Missouri River levels has been difficult because the situation has changed so rapidly and more rainwater and snowfall feeds into the basin. Also, they're also having trouble reading the Missouri River levels because they're, they're, some of the gear has been malfunctioning, according to Steve Cody with the Odo County Emergency Management. We're keeping our eyes on that situation. Down the river, down in the Peru area, down towards Brownville in Peru, the city of Peru are actually looking for people to do sandbagging. They're looking for people to fill sandbags. So if you're available and can go help out in Peru, Peru is asking you if you can please come down and help them fill sandbags so they can protect their city. Speaking of sandbags, employees at the Omaha Public Power District south of Nebraska City. They are filling sad bags to prevent their operation, protect their operation, and they're also sending and basically evacuating non-essential employees from OPPD again south of Nebraska City. You can see behind us right here obviously the road closed. This is towards northbound Interstate 29. This is northbound. This will be towards Omaha, but it is all blocked off and it, behind us Fernando will have you switch around the camera real fast. You will see us as all the traffic and Iowa DOT members are currently ushering off traffic off of Interstate 20. Nine. So traffic is flowing in right now. Percival is off at the distance and then Nebraska City off to the west as well. So all of these vehicles are being ushered off the interstate and will try and seek another route to get up north or they're just going to hold tight while this Missouri River flooding continues. It's something that we have our eyes on and we'll keep you updated both on our website, on TV and on radio stations across the News Channel Nebraska company. I'm Hunter reporting in Percival for News Channel Nebraska.